All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let me demonstrate all these um, building ratios that we talked about in class via this simple example. So in this example, we have a land. So this is your land, and it has dimensions of 100 by 100. And then I've given you the building over here. So this is my building. And the dimensions of the building, that's 40 by 40. Taking into account the wall, so the shaded pink part is your wall. Um, so the, the internal of the building excluding the wall is 38. You can see over here by 38. And then we have a one meter uh, wall width on either end. So on this end and on the other end. Um, and the question, so remember this is a plan view of the building and it's a plan view of the land. Um, and the other information that's provided is as follows. So you've got four stories that people can occupy plus one story of car park. Um, and then we are asked to calculate the, um, the ratios. So we need to calculate the floor area ratio, the ground space index, and the open space ratio. Uh, before I do that, let me first show you how we would calculate the carpet area for the building. So the first step is calculating the carpet area. And to get that, it's basically 38. So it's the internals. So it's what you see over here, 38, and that's 38. So 38 multiplied by 38. So we're excluding the, uh, the, the walls multiplied by four. Remember, it's four because it's four stories that people can occupy, and that one story of car park, we don't take that into consideration when we calculate the carpet area. So in our case, that should be equal to 5776 meters squared. So let me double check that for you. 38 by 38. Oh, seven, seven, six. All right, beautiful. So that's the carpet area. If you're wondering how to calculate the area of the walls, so I'll show you how to do that. The area of the walls. So you know that based on this diagram over here, you know that there's one meter at each end of the building. So let's say this is one meter multiplied by 40 because we have that as 40. So one multiplied by 40, and then there's two of them, one on either end, so one over here, and there's another one over here. Okay, so that's for one, for the two sides of the structure, and then we've also got, so what I did just now, was I took into consideration this whole area, this whole strip, and I also accounted for this strip as well. So what's remaining is the section over here, and the section over there. Now remember, this is going to be 38, and this is still one meter because that's how our walls are. So that's one meter in width, and I've got that as 38. So to calculate that, it's going to be 38 multiplied by one meter width multiplied by two because I've got two strips. So that's the area of the walls on one story. Right, so for an answer, you should get 156 meter squared. Now, if I'm interested in the area of walls, so overall area of walls, that's going to be 156 multiplied by five stories, because I've got four stories that people can occupy, plus the one story car park inside the building, so that's multiplied by five, and that should give you 780 meters squared.
So we've calculated the copper area, we've calculated the area of the walls. Third step, let's look at the ratio. So the first ratio, the floor area ratio, FAR, also aka FSI, floor space index. So to calculate that, remember it's the gross floor area GFA divided by the plan area so the plan area is your land area so to compute that that's basically 40 remember we need to take into consideration the internal walls so it's the full 40 um, it's that full dimension that we need to take into account. So it's 40 multiplied by 40. And then, because we have four stories that can be occupied, so it's multiplied by four. So we don't worry about the car park. The car park is excluded um, from the gross floor area calculation because it can't be occupied by the people. They can't actually live in it. Um, divided by the land area, so if we go back to the plan view, it's 100 by 100, 100 by 100, and the ratio that you should get is 0.64. Okay, so we're done with the FAR, let's calculate the GSI, the ground space index, ground space index, the way we would calculate the ground space index is the building, the building footprint. Building footprint divided by plan area. Again, plan area is the land area. So the building footprint, let's have a look at the building footprint. So we should always compute the building footprint based on the plan view. So the plan view over here that we see, we see that it's 40 by 40, so we need to take into consideration the walls. So that shaded pink part, that's your walls. We need to take that into account. Given that the car park is within the building, we don't have to worry about external structures. So it's what whatever we see from a plan view, and that's the 40 by 40 structure. So that's your building footprint, the 40 multiplied by 40. And then we divide it by the land area, which is 100 by 100. Um, and you should get a ratio of 0 0.16. 0 0.16. Okay, so the final ratio that I'm going to compute, the open space ratio, OSR. So the open space ratio. Now to Compute that, it's the plan area minus built area divided by GFA, your ground floor, your gross floor area, sorry. So your gross floor area, GFA, and that's, the, so to compute the uh, the ratio, the plan area that we have, that's 100 by 100. So that's my plan area minus my built area or my built up area, which is 40 multiplied by 40. But notice now it's multiplied by 5, and it's because we're accounting for the, for the car park. So we've got four stories that can be occupied by people, and then we have one story of car park. So that car park has to be considered in the built up area divided by the GFA, which we already computed above. So that's the 40 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 4. 40 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 4. So notice over here the difference. We don't take into consideration the car park for the GFA, whereas for the built up area, it's, it's considered. So the answer that you should get is 0.3125. So I hope that clarifies everything. Um, go through the example again if you're still not sure, and do let me know if you do have any questions.